analysts attribute the causes of the recent turmoil to a combination of factors affecting both local and international markets, particularly U.S. indices such as the Dow Jones, S&P 500, and NASDAQ. The decline in stock prices is primarily driven by rising interest rates and inflationary concerns. A current report from various economic experts indicated that the central bank is active on multiple fronts to stabilize the current economic situation. Considering statements from the past few weeks, it is suggested that the Fed is determined to slow GDP growth and combat inflation through interest rate increases. However, this could lead to the U.S. stock market heading toward a recession. In particular, the Dow and the NASDAQ index have suffered significant losses in recent sessions. The Dow Jones today showed another sign of ongoing weakness, reigniting fears of a possible market crash. The market reaction, according to economists' comments, is not only due to interest rate policies, but also to the uncertainties arising from geopolitical tensions and production bottlenecks in Asia. For example, the uncertainty surrounding the Japanese stock market could be seen as another catalyst behind the recent declines. Analysts have also been monitoring the performance of the Japanese market, where stock prices have come under pressure from local economic challenges. According to reports, concerns about a prolonged stagnation in Japan have undermined confidence in Asian markets overall. This has an immediate impact on investor decisions across the region and is reflected in the volatility of dollar futures. The current developments have led to mixed reactions among investors. Some point out that the temporary nature of such market movements does not necessarily have to lead to negative long-term forecasts. Nevertheless, many financial analysts express concerning forecasts. They explain that in many cases, the pullbacks were fueled by an oversupply of liquidity and a rapid overvaluation of stock prices. It becomes clear that these factors could be risky and lead to an abrupt market crash. In summary, it can be concluded that the situation on the global markets can change quickly. The coming weeks will be crucial for the development of the U.S. stock market, particularly the NASDAQ and the Dow. Investors will closely monitor how economic indicators and interest rate decisions impact the markets as the global economy continues to face uncertainties. The ongoing market movements are seen by many as a sign that the stock market may be susceptible to turbulence today and in the near future. Investors need to remain vigilant and prepare for potential further volatility, as the pressure on central banks and governments to ensure economic stability remains relentless. Author Anita Falk, Monday, August 5th, 2024.